One area that I, I'm very interested in and we've really worked hard to bring to our region is the use of microsurgery for reconstruction. Typically this is offered in major academic centers which are usually in much larger cities. It's really difficult sometimes for patients to have to travel the distance to go from Tallahassee or South Georgia having to go to Atlanta or to Gainesville or to Jacksonville. And that's typically where folks in our region would have to go to get this form of reconstruction. I was very lucky that in Birmingham I got very good training in this and had a wonderful opportunity to stay on faculty there and really kind of hone my skills with microsurgery. Microsurgery is unique in that it allows us to take tissue from one area of the body, completely unhook it, and move it to another area of the body and reestablish its blood supply by using a microscope and microsurgical instruments to sew the blood vessels back together. The applications of this technology and this surgical technique are profound. In our practice, we're really focusing on a lot of breast reconstruction and limb salvage. Breast reconstruction is kind of grew from an operation called a tram flap. Well, over the past couple decades, this, the technique has really evolved, and now we're doing something called a DIEP flap, or a deep inferior epigastric artery perforator flap. That's why we say DIEP flap. Um, and that's where we take the abdominal tissue and its blood supply and unhook it, and then use that with microsurgical techniques to reconstruct a breast after a mastectomy. This can be done both after, immediately after a mastectomy or in a delayed fashion. So for women who've had to have a mastectomy and radiation therapy, this is really becoming an outstanding option for them. It's also an option for women who right after their mastectomy, if they choose, they would like to have what we call a totally autologous reconstruction. And that means reconstruction using your only your own tissue. This is a big advantage for a lot of women. Um, we have a lot of women who come and see us who think they're not candidates for this operation because of what they've heard or read. What we've learned in plastic surgery over the past 10 or 15 years is that the indications for this and the patients who are candidates for it has really expanded greatly. So when women come in to discuss breast reconstruction with us here, we really kind of have a clean slate in discussing it because most women have more options open than they think.